Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you a kitchen tour, do a kitchen tour for you, and show you a little sneak peek inside my fridge and my pantry as well. I have already done a pantry and fridge tour for you, a full tour of that, so I'll link that below for you. But I just want to show you my whole kitchen. in through the living space um, to walk into the kitchen you come past here and this is kind of where the kitchen meets the living space so I'm gonna include it in the kitchen tour I have an IKEA mulm chest I believe it's called it's from IKEA and on top of that I have two fruit bowls one of the limes if you watch my videos you'll know that I cook with these all the time I saw a comment the other day that said if it doesn't have lemon or lime juice in it, it's not a Liesl Jane recipe. So I always use lemon and limes. And then pink lady apples. I think the colors are really pretty here, but these also are my favorite apples. And then over here I have a painting that I actually painted myself a few years ago. It's acrylic paint. So yeah, I brought that over from South Africa um, when I was just there now. So this sort of completes this area. And then when you come through here, I have a nice big mirror here this is from CB2 and it's got like a rose gold bronzy colored frame I think it's really pretty and it just brings light into this part of the kitchen and just makes this big wall look a little bit less plain just I like it makes it look makes the space look bigger as well and then over here I have some kitchen stools I got these from West Arm and they've got a mango wood top and then just a simple like charcoal gray um what do you call these like legs it adds some natural wood into the kitchen makes it look a little bit more homey and friendly so i really wanted to get ones with wood wood top and i really like the way it looks so that's the side of the kitchen but then if you come down this side of the kitchen i have over here a beautiful bunch of flowers rob actually got me for our anniversary this vase like just over a week ago i think um, and it's really pretty and simple and he got me some flowers in it and I actually added some more flowers in the other day but it looks really pretty and yeah I really like it I think if I I would have picked out the exact same vase if I'd picked it out for myself I don't know where it's from because he gave it to me as a gift but it's just a pretty simple glass vase okay so here on this side I'm gonna go this way down the kitchen over here we have the pantry which I did show you in my pantry and fridge tour. I like to keep everything <laughs> in little lines and little rows. So Rob now knows to put everything back in the little rows and keep the rows, it makes me happy. Um, up here we have a whole lot of sparkling water and it's like a, um, a healthy soda made with stevia. We have a lot of different oats <laughs> over here. You guys know that I like to eat oats. Some Quaker oats, some rolled oats, then there's some organic oats. I actually can't reach at the top. I need a little stool to stand at the top there. And then over here we have a whole lot of like pantry staples that aren't open. So I've got like chia seeds. I've got my favorite healthy Rice Krispies. I love these. They're made with, they're like really healthy. They're made with um, coconut sugar and it's like organic. And, mm, yum, yum. This is Rob's favorite clustery cereal. We've got some of my bread that you guys know that I always eat, my rye bread. And I've got some almond milk at the back there. So I like to organize these in little plastic containers. I'll try to link these below for you if I can find them. Anything that I can link below for you that's in my kitchen, I will. And over here we just have like brown rice, some more oatmeal, some brown rice spaghetti. Then over here I've organized some of the things that we use every day into these little containers and then I've labeled them so this is raw chia seeds. And then I've got some dry roasted peanuts here. I've got unsweetened desiccated coconut. I've got a whole lot of things. I went through everything in detail in my fridge and pantry tour so I'll link that below for you. But yeah, we just have some things that we use every day like peanut butter, almond butter, coconut oil, all those kind of things. And then all my pantry staples, these are also unopened ones. I know it's a lot of food. 
I really like the rose. I'm probably a little bit too... Uh, I need to get over that a little bit, but um, it looks nice and organized. And then, yeah, protein powders. Those are mine ones. Those are Rob's ones. And down here we have some tortilla chips that Rob really likes to eat. So I've got a couple bags of those. Um, we've got a whole lot of snack bars in here. I've got them in the same plastic containers. Just like an organizing container. They're the same as those ones up there. And over here I just have some more healthy snack foods there. So that is a really quick little look at my pantry. Then if you come through over here, I have all my teas. I love tea. I drink I don't even know how many cups of tea I drink a day, so many. This is my favorite one right now. It's green tea with peppermint by Traditional Med Medicinals. I really like that one. I've got some tea from South Africa that I brought forwards. Green mint tea is another favorite of mine. Smuggled that in my bag. Um, and I've got some vanilla rooibos from South Africa and some plain rooibos from South Africa. Those are my favorite brands. And I've got some throat coat, throat coat tea and some English breakfast tea, just hot teas. And I've got some mugs here. These are more like sentimental mugs. You'll see my other mugs in a moment. These are sentimental mugs from like my childhood that I brought. This um, was like my favorite mug from my childhood. I don't know why, but it's a hippo. And then there's, that's bud, I don't know. I really like that. My dad gave this to me for Valentine's Day last year. It's a cute little mug. My mom gave this one to me. <laughs> That's what she thinks of me. <laughs> and we've got some like protein shake bottles and some reusable Starmax mugs up there, some straws. And down here we have the dish, dishwashing rack. We have the dishwasher. Um, I like to keep the dish brush and the sponge in this little, this little stainless steel container thing. I got this from Amazon. And soaps. Down here we have all the cleaning things. So we got like dishwashing, um, detergent, pods, um, normal dishwashing liquid for the dishwasher, all the cleaning supplies. I've got counter spray here. I just use this to like wipe down my counters in my kitchen mostly. It's the brand Puracy. I got that off of Amazon. Seventh generation is my other favorite one. It's also just like a cleaner for the kitchen. I really like these wipes by seventh generation. You can use them to like clean your kitchen and your bathroom. Whatever. So yeah, that's basically what we have down there. In this cupboard, we have more food. So these are kind of like everyday grains and nuts that we eat. We've got dry roasted almonds with 50% less salt. Those are the ones I eat. These are dry roasted and unsalted rom almonds. Those Rob eats. We've got some raw almonds, raw walnuts, um, organic red quinoa, white quinoa quick cooking brown rice at the back there. Up there at the top we've got some whole rolled oats, we've got brown sprouted rice, we've got white basmati rice, we've got brown rice spaghetti, all sorts of things up there. And then over here we have our bowls that we use every day. I really like these ones. This is the brand Maxwell Williams. You guys always ask me what brand I use. I found these off of Amazon. This is actually a South African brand. But when I moved here, I like really wanted the ones like my mom has at home. I couldn't find them, but I found them on Amazon like really randomly. So that's what I got. And we got matching little side plates. And then here I've got, I actually got these from Urban Outfitters. They had little, little soup bowls actually, but I actually eat my breakfast out of them sometimes. So I use them as little bowls. I eat my like oats out of them, my oatmeal. So that's what's in there. And here we've got green Granny Smith apples. These are Rob's apples. I use the, I eat the pink lady ones and he eats the Granny Smith ones. And here I've got a little spoon rest to, you know when you're cooking and then you're cooking with a spatula and then you just leave it there. I don't know, I really like that. And I find it really helpful. Got your little utensils. I don't really use these wooden ones very much. They're more just for show. But I probably will use them one day. I just never seem to use them. And we've got this amazing cutting board. Oh my gosh. I think Rob found this. Or did I find this? I don't know. We went to Ikea and we were looking for furniture and we just found this chopping board. It was like $15 and it's so nice and sturdy. It's, oh, it's amazing. I love it. It was really inexpensive. So that's from Ikea. 
and then I got these nice white salad bowls. They're actually salad bowls that I keep all the fruit in. I got those off of Amazon as well. And these little, this is a, like, like a little set, utensils and spoon. I got those from West Elm. So that's this area. Now we're going to go into the drawers. In the top drawer over here, we have all of our cutlery. I got this, all this cutlery from Crate and Barrel. Um, we got the knives. There's a whole lot of different sizes actually. So we got big forks, little forks. We got lots of different spoons. These are the tablespoons. These are the teaspoons. And these are apparently coffee spoons. They're very cute. And then the spoons that I always eat breakfast with are these. They're actually iced teaspoons. But this is, I think it's like the perfect size and I love them. So that's what I always eat my breakfast with. Got soup spoons in there. We've got these glass straws. Um, I try not to use plastic straws. Actually, I never use plastic straws anymore because they're bad for the sea life, but I use the glass straws and sometimes the paper straws, which you saw up there. And then over here, we've got some nice cutting knives. I've actually just been keeping them, putting them back in these plastic things that they came in. I don't know why I keep doing that, but um, just to keep them you know, in good condition, we've got a whisk, salad serving spoons. Oh, and wow, a lot of a lot of knives, got a lot of knives in there. And in the second straw, we've got all of the like cooking utensils, spatulas, all these things, and a whole lot of kitchen knives, can opener, and I've got so many measuring cups. Look at all my measuring cups. I decided to get all the same ones by KitchenAid. I just got a whole lot of them, just, and I keep them in this little bamboo box. I think it's similar to this bamboo cutlery organizer. I got this off of Amazon as well. I got a lot of this stuff off of Amazon. I'll try to link my favorite ones below for you. Here in the third drawer, we have all of our kitchen towels. We have some little dishcloths and we have the oven mitts and those little things. I don't know what to call them, but you take things out the oven with them. And then we've got some cleaning towels here. Those are just for cleaning, cleaning things. And in the bottom drawer, we have Ziploc bags, we have cooking sheets. These are the, um, the baking cooking sheets that I use. They, it's just pre-cut parchment paper. We've got cling wrap, we've got foil. We've got, I use these little stainless steel clips to close food, like chip bags and baby spinach bags, things like that. Okay, we're gonna move to the side here. Over here in this top drawer, I have all of my little bowls. You guys have seen me use little bowls like this so many times. All my little glass bowls, I use them when I bake. Sometimes, I don't know, I just really like when I when I put measure everything out when I'm filming videos sometimes and then it just makes it easier and quicker to film and I think it just looks really cute. Then in this cupboard down here, we have our general eating plates over here. They're exactly the same as the ones that I showed you. Um, they match the bowls and the side plates that I showed you up there. They're the same brand, Maxwell Williams. It's actually a South African brand, but I got them, I got lucky and I found them on Amazon just really randomly. Then I've got some nice um, little, cook these are like for baking little bread loaves and things like that. And over here, got my colander and I've got these what do you call these things they're like a sieve um, you can use them for draining I usually use this one for like draining beans and rinsing them and yeah you can like sieve things when you're baking and over here I've got some other dishes for baking I'll try link as much as I can for you below so you can check it out if you want to over here I actually found these really nice I'll show you. I found these really nice placemats. I think I got them at Crate and Barrel or CB2. But they're just really nice and simple. And Rob and I have sat there and just like had breakfast. Um, and they're just really nice and simple and pretty. They've got like a really nice texture. So these are the only placemats that I have at the moment. But I really like them. I think they're just simple and pretty. I've got some muffin trays down there. Some silicone ones. And some baking trays and some cooling racks. I got just got all of those in a little pile there. And then over here, I've got some more little baking things for baking bread. You can break bread in these. These are silicone ones. And then these ones are Pyrex. You can bake like little casseroles in these, little lasagnas, things like that. So yeah, those are really cute little 
things to bake, little pastas and lasagnas. In this drawer, oh, this drawer we have our fancy pans. <laughs> our fancy, fancy frying pans. We've got the Le Creuset frying pans. I got them in two sizes with the lid. These are quite expensive, but they're so worth it. They're amazing. You can make incredible pancakes, cook amazing eggs. You can, these frying pans are so worth it. They are expensive though, so we only have two. I would love, my dream is to have like a whole set of these. But we got the big, you can get like a whole lot of sizes. We got a small one and we got a big one and we use them every single day. They're amazing. Then down here we have the more affordable pot set. Um, I just got these, it's like a cheapish brand. You can get them at Target, you can get them on Amazon, Cuisine Art. I got a whole set of those and it's just got all the different sizes, all the different sizes. So yeah, they're really nice though. I really like this tiny little one. It's so cute. See, there's like a normal, a normal size saucepan and then there's a little baby one. So that's what we have down there. Then over here, we have the microwave. It's a really nice one actually. It came with the apartment, but it's such a nice one. So we got really lucky with that. Whirlpool is the brand. And we got a matching stove. It's really nice because it's a gas stove. This is the first time I've ever actually had a gas stove and oven like this. So it's it's a really nice looking one. And it actually works really nicely. I've just got a little dish towel hanging here. And there's the oven. We've got some more baking trays in there. Here I've got all of my spices in a little spice rack. I got the spice rack off of Amazon as well. Just all the things we use on a daily basis. I've got my Marmite from South Africa. That's not really a spice, but it's there. Um, I've got some vanilla extract here. I've got some cinnamon. We've got some spices that we like to use. I use oregano all the time. That's probably the thing that I use the most with some ground pepper. I really like this one from Trader Joe's. It's like ground pepper. Um, so I really like that one, um, Himalayan sea salt. Then what I've really been liking to use for cooking is this avocado oil spray. It's just avocado and you just spray it in the pan. It's just a little bit easier to use, but I've also got avocado oil. This is what I've been using. It's like a healthier oil to cook with, avocado oil. And then I've also got some olive oil. Also got some olive oil for making salads and things like that. But here we've got our paper, paper towels. Um, I actually got this paper towel stand from um, Simple Human. It's a really nice one, very nice and simple. And my toaster, oh my gosh, I love my toaster. I don't know why I love my toaster so much, but I really like my toaster. It's the brand Cuisine Art, and it's just really nice and simple. I don't know, I, I spent so much time looking for a toaster, and I really like this one, and you can put four slices in it, and it's just perfect. I really like that one. <gasps> Here, we have all of... So we got more mugs. <laughs> Those mugs that you saw down there were more like the sentimental mugs that I brought over. Those are like my childhood mugs, things like that. But these are all the mugs that I've brought here. So up at the top, we have some little mugs that I got them at CB2 and they're just the be these beautiful colors. We've got mint green, we've got like a gray color and then that light pink and they're just so pretty. And I've actually been using them as like little bowls instead of mugs because they're quite wide and I'll eat like yogurt out of them or I'll eat some overnight oats, something like that. Here we have some plain white mugs. These are the same, it came in the same set as the plates and the bowls and the side plates, but they're just really simple and that's what I wanted. Then we've got these Starbucks, what are they called? Starbucks You Are Here collection. We've got the New York one. Rob and I both love New York. It's like one, it's like probably our favorite place. So we really wanted the New York one. So I really like that. And my sister got me this one for Christmas. It's the London one she got for me when she was in England. And I love London. I've been there and I just love it. So I was really excited when she gave that to me. And also we got two of these California. These are also the You Are Here collection, but they're like a special edition gold one. So we got the California one since we live in California now. These are, I kind of, in my mind, they're like Rob's mugs, even though <laughs> they're not. But, well, they, they're both of ours, but um, they're just simple white Starbucks mugs. They're really pretty. We really wanted just simple, classic white Starbucks mugs. We both love Starbucks, and they're just, they're just really pretty. He uses those ones more than me, so that's why I kind of call them, call them his mugs. And then my ones are these pink ones. 
Um, they're also Starbucks ones. They're from the Fall Collection last year. Um, they're just a pretty pink and they've got like little cute little things on. It says sweater weather and it's got like little mittens and a little raincoat, little, little leaves and sweater. It's just so cute. So these are perfect for like the fall and winter time. So I use those every single day. Those are the, probably the ones that I use the most. I just love them so much. Up there we have some wine glasses that we've never actually used to be honest. Um, but I thought they were really pretty and <laughs> they're really simple and I wanted them. And then we've got some big drinking glasses up there. We've got some medium sized drinking glasses here and then we've got some small drinking glasses over here. These are all from the same set. I got these on Amazon. They're very inexpensive but I think they actually look really nice. They're just very simple. Um, yeah, so that's all of our mugs and drinking glasses and I really like the way this is all laid out. It just looks really simple and clean and organized. Okay, then in this cupboard we have all of our appliances and things like that. So I've got my Nutribullet here got another blender here we've got our steamer here which we mostly use to steam like vegetables and things like that with dinner then up here I have my little these are like the little blender parts that go with the Nutribullet we've got a grater oh my gosh I've got this cute oh, I love this so much this is a little waffle maker that Rob got me from, as part of my birthday present he got it from Urban Outfitters it's so cute it's like a teeny tiny little waffle maker and it makes a peace sign so cute absolutely love that so that stays up there and then I've got some little measuring these are Pyrex little measuring jars and then I've got another big one here and up there we've got some more things that go with our steamer we've got a that's a little microwave thing that you use to make popcorn in the microwave I got it off of Amazon we've got a coffee filter thing maker thing there we've got that thing <laughs> that pilot thing it's um you can foam foam milk when you make coffee or something like that so that's what that's for and a little jar you can make iced tea or something in that so that's everything that's in there and here we have our kettle i just really like the way that this one looked that's probably why i got it because i like the way it looks but it does the job then down here this is kind of like a random drawer <laughs> Very random things in here. We've got a whole lot of tape, got some screwdriver, nails, got our keys in here, I've got a tape measure, masking tape, that kind of thing in there. And down here we've got some paper towels, we've got garbage bags um, over there, we've got more garbage bags here. I actually really like these simple human ones. I'll show you my bin in a second, but these are the ones that I actually made for the bin and I find it Wow, it's so much easier to get one that actually is made for the bin that you have. I know that's such a random thing to say, but it really makes a difference. And I've got, it's like when I go to the shop, I always save the, the plastic bags. And um, like if I go to Cotton On or something, and then I use them for something else. And I use these Trader Joe's bags to keep my recycling, to collect my recycling when I take it out. So I try to reuse all of that stuff. So that's all in there. In here we have our vitamins. I've just got a whole lot of different types of vitamins that Rob and I both use. Something that I will mention specifically, I really like this, I don't know how to say that, lip lipospheric vitamin C. It's this, this is really cool. It's like you pour it into a glass of water in the morning and if you've got like a sore throat or you feel like a cold coming on, this is amazing to take. You put it in the water and it just, it's supposed to like help your body absorb the vitamin C better. It's vitamin C. It's amazing. Um, something else that I really like, I love these little, these little multi-vitamin, they're like gummy bites. They're so delicious. They're by the brand Garden of Life. And these, I don't know if, what Alicia Silverstone has to do with this, um, I should actually look it up, but she like writes a little message here and she like helped develop these or something, very cool, and they're like the healthiest gummy bites that I've been able to find. They taste really good, so that's just something specifically that I really like. Then down here, I've got all of my Tupperware containers. I have chose to get all of these, they're all glass, they're all glass with plastic lids. And I've really been enjoying these. I got all of these off of Amazon. I'll try to link them be below for you. 
but yeah, we've got a whole lot. We've actually got so many, but we use them so much and it really helps with meal prepping and food prepping and keeping things fresh. So we use these every single day and they've really been great. We've been using them for about six, seven months now and they've really lasted. So I've really been enjoying those. They're a little bit more expensive, but I really find that they just work. They're amazing. Up here is just a few random things. We've got a whole lot of Kleenex tissues. We've got an iron. We've got, I think there's some candles up in here. Yeah, some little tea light candles up in there. And we've got some spare light bulbs and things like that over there. So nothing too interesting. And then the fridge. Fridge and freezer overview. So right at the top here, I've got these are my absolute favorite. I've mentioned them to you guys before. They're just lemon and a little bit of lemon and a little bit of ginger in some sparkling water. They're so good. There's no calories in them and they're pretty healthy. So I really like drinking those. I probably have one every single day at the moment. And then these are by the brand Spindrift. They're a similar concept. It's a little bit of squeezed fresh juice in sparkling water. This one has just got a little bit of grapefruit juice in it. And this one has got a little bit of orange and mango juice in it. They're really delicious. Then here's some Synergy. This is actually Rob Synergy. He loves the Cosmic Cranberry one. <laughs> We've got some overnight oats that I prepped. We've got some fresh berries over there. Some avocados. We've got some cheese. I like to keep all the cheese and butter. That's Rob's stuff all the dairy items in here because I don't eat dairy but then on the top I did actually put some vegan cheese which is mine the salad ingredients in this drawer over here salad ingredients over here I've got some muffins that I actually made yesterday they're banana oat vanilla protein muffins I did show you guys these in a video, um, this exact recipe I showed you guys recently in a video, so I'll link it below for you. They're really nice to meal prep and then have for a quick breakfast. Over here, I have some chocolate clusters, which I've shown you guys this recipe as well that I made. Got some chocolate clusters in here, I made these for Rob. Here I've got some bread, that's the whole rye bread that you guys always see me eat. When I open it, I usually just keep it in there in the fridge to keep it fresh. Here we have a whole lot of vegetables, broccoli, zucchini, mushrooms, baby spinach, and here we have some fruit. We've got some bananas in here, and we got some oranges. We've got a whole lot of condiments and pickles and things like that. We got some coconut water, which I love coconut water so much. Almond milk. I got some probiotics there. This is Rob's green smoothie that he meal preps and he keeps it in that container and more like sauces and condiments ketchup things like that so that's what's in the fridge and then in the side in the freezer we've got over here we've got rob's chocolate ice cream that's like a dairy ice cream and then we've got my dairy free ice cream here um it's made with coconut milk we've got rob's bread there which he keeps over there a few frozen vegetables there and a whole lot of frozen berries here so I eat a lot of I use these in my smoothies every single day frozen blueberries and frozen raspberries so that is what's in the fridge and here is the bin <laughs> I think that's the only thing I haven't showed you yet it's this bin by Simple Human it's nice because we didn't really know where to put a, a bin, a trash can in this kitchen because there's just not really like space for it. So this one just fits underneath the counter. So that was the best one we could find. It's by the brand Simple Human and it's really, it's a really nice trash can. I um, don't know what else to say about that, but that's all I have to say about the trash can. Um, absolutely everything that's in my kitchen now you guys have seen it all 
so yeah i hope that you enjoyed this video i'll try as i said already i'll try link everything that i can below for you because i did buy we just moved here six months ago and everything i bought in the last six months so i'll try to link it all below for you so that you can check it out if you want to i'll also link my full pantry and fridge tour below for you so you can see like everything in my fridge and pantry I'll link that below for you guys but thank you so much for watching give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it subscribe to my channel for more videos and comment below don't forget to comment below and turn on the post notification bell if you haven't already and i'll see you guys again very soon